distinction family welcome and welcome back to distinction in mathematics i'm excited about today's video because this is the first video in number patterns so to begin this topic we're going to start with linear number patterns and if you have any questions based on this video please don't forget to leave it on the comment section and we will be discussing it on the next video so when we talk about linear number patterns we talk about a sequence of numbers where the difference between each term is the same. Now consider the sequence 2, 7, 12, and 17. The difference between these numbers is 5. So if you would minus 12 from 17, you get 5. 12 minus 7 is 5, and 7 minus 2 is 5. If you would plot these numbers on a graph, the numbers will form a straight line, and that is why it is a linear number pattern. So the general term for linear number patterns is Tn equals Bn plus C. On your exam, they can play around with questions and they can ask you determine the nth term on this sequence. So what you're going to do is you're going to use the general term for linear number patterns, which is Tn equals Bn plus C. We are already looking for the nth term. What we do not have and what we need to find is the value of B and C. The value of b is the difference between these numbers, which is 5. And to find the value of c, you will use a simple formula b plus c equals a, where a is the first number on your sequence. So we substitute b with 5, and when we take 5 to the other side of the equal sign to solve for c, we get the value of minus 3. So the n term for this sequence is tn equals 5n minus 3. So let's say now they ask you to determine the 199th term on this sequence. Instead of n, we will have 199. Let's move on to a different sequence. Now, before you look at the questions, make sure you find the value of B, which is the difference between these numbers. Six minus five is one, five minus four is one, and four minus three is one. So to go from three to four, you add one, to go from four to five, you add one, and to go from five to six, you add one. So definitely, this is a linear number pattern. If you were to plot these numbers on a graph, they will form a straight line. We can now move on to the questions. The first question is determine the nth term. Remember the general term for the linear number patterns is Tn equals Bn plus C. So we need to know the value of B and the value of C. The value of B is 1 and to find the value of C we will have B plus C equals A where A is the first number that you are given. Take 1 to the other side of the equal sign and solve for C. So now we have everything, we can now write the nth term for this pattern, which is Tn equals n plus 2. The next question is, determine the hundredth term on this number pattern. Remember, we already have this, the nth term for this pattern. So we're also going to use that to find the hundredth term. Instead of n, we're going to have a hundred. The next question is which term of the number pattern is equal to 52? So what they're asking you here is the position of this value which is 52 on this pattern. They are basically telling you that a certain position on this pattern is 52 and they are asking you which position it is. So instead of Tn you're going to have 52 and solve for n. This is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed doing mathematics with me. Please stay tuned for quadratic number patterns coming up soon. If you haven't subscribed, please do join the Distinction in Mathematics family by clicking that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Let's do mathematics again on the next video. Bye.